welcome back to another video. We're here with an update on our John boat. This is a video we've been looking forward to for a long time because we finally finished adding everything we wanted to. Uh, as some of you may know, we bought our John boat a couple months ago and, and we showcased it in a previous video. But at that point, we didn't have uh, any modifications to it. But now, a couple months later, we pretty much added everything we wanted to. This video is going to showcase all of that. So without further ado, check it out. So when making our front hatch for the John boat, we decided to buy a marine hatch and cut a hole directly into the front bench of the John boat. From there, we placed the hatch inside of the cut hole and sealed it up with some screws and silicone, marine silicone. So the purpose for us having this front hatch is to keep all our essentials up here in one centralized location. Inside this hatch, we keep our dry bag with our first aid kit and a very important papers uh, regarding our boat registration and license. We also have a fire extinguisher just in case the motor catches on fire. We have an extra plug just in case we lose the plug in the back. We have a manual bilge pump if for whatever reason we get a lot of water in the boat and we have to get it out real quick. We have our anchor bag where we keep our anchor inside of it. And we also have our emergency kit that contains our flare gun, our air horn, or anything that we could use just in case we get stranded out in the John boat. The next thing we added to our John boat is a removable casting deck. We actually built this casting deck ourselves and we recorded the whole process. So if you're interested to see how we built this casting deck, uh, stay tuned for that video. We cut out a hatch in this casting deck. Uh, it gives us a little bit more organized storage, a place to put our tackle bags, emergency paddles, and soft coolers with food and drinks. In addition, we added two rod holders to the side of the casting deck. Uh, so whoever's sitting on that second bench can have access to multiple rods. Our casting deck is not like a traditional casting deck because it doesn't reach to that second bench. Uh, we actually uh, cut it off so that the person sitting on the second bench has a little bit of leg room. The casting deck doesn't completely cut it off. And then of course you can go ahead and stand up on the casting deck, use your fishing rod, your cast net, uh, whatever you need to do, or you can sit down on the swivel seats and put your feet up. The next thing we added were two boat seats and two swivels. We went ahead and put the boat seats on removable swivels that clamp onto the bench. We did this because we wanted to minimize the amount of drilling and cutting we did into the boat. We wanted to maintain the structural integrity as much as possible, uh, so we didn't see a need to drill seats into the boat when we can just have these removable uh, clamps. The swivels allow for 360 degree access, uh, you know, so we can pretty much fish from either side and we can maneuver pretty easily. We added a sticker ruler to the back of the middle bench. That way, whenever we catch fish and we want to take them home, we make sure that they're the legal length and it's very easy to access from our boat. What's really cool about this sticker is that it has all the regulations uh, listed on it for our local area where we fish. On the floor here, we added some rubber mats. That way, we don't slip around when we're standing up on our John boat. We added two flush mounted rod holders at the back of the John boat. The way that we did this is we cut two holes on the back bench of the boat and then we removed the foam that was underneath. When we put in the rod holders, we made sure to put them in at an angle so that we could get a good spread if we ever went trolling. Last but not least, we have the powerhouse to our John boat our six horsepower Mercury outboard motor. After going out fishing on the John boat a few times with this motor, I could say that it performs very well, even with carrying the weight of two fishermen and all their tackle. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps with the growth of this channel. Stay tuned guys, because we're gonna be coming out with a video showing you guys how we made our casting deck that we featured in this video. That video is probably going to come out next week, so we're really excited about that, and I hope you guys enjoy that one as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.